Hey everybody, I'm Shane Benedict, head of R&D here at Native Watercraft. And um, today we're here in Fletcher, North Carolina, where we build and make all of our kayaks and accessories. And I wanna walk you through one of our favorite boats, the Slayer Max 12 and a half. Let's go check it out. And here it is, Native Watercraft Slayer Max 12 and a half. A great fishing platform for any type of angler wanting to get into any different type of water that they want. The three kind of main things that I really love and I see anglers really attracted to about this boat are the propel drive. The propel drive is hassle-free, hands-free, forward and reverse, super easy, smooth through the water, and easy to use. The other big thing is the electronics compatibility. It allows you to set up the boat with electronics however you want, wherever you want. And the last thing that really brings people in is just the, the performance of the hull itself. It's fast through the water, it tracks really nicely, but yet it turns on a dime so you can really maneuver it easily. Next thing I wanna do is kinda of walk you through the entire boat front to back and we'll cover all the little nitty gritty pieces and parts of the Max 12 and a half. At the heart of this boat is the 701 series anodized marine grade aluminum propel drive. The great thing about this, this propel drive is that we've actually been putting it in boats for a decade. And through the years, we've made upgrades and transitions in this model. And right now, we're so positive about this that we put a five-year warranty on it. And we're proud that the Propel itself is assembled here in our factory in Fletcher, North Carolina. Some of my favorite uh, features about, about the Propel Drive um, is that it's got such an easy cadence. With a 10 to 1 ratio, you move through the water effortlessly, literally right around three and a half, four miles an hour. You can cruise all day and not feel super fatigued. Um, a couple things that help that are just the smooth mo moving cranks. The, even the pedals, you can go, if you want to pedal barefoot, you can not have the cleats in here that actually give you traction, or you can screw cleats into it and for your shoes, you actually get a better grip to drive the prop even more smoothly with actually with less effort. She's hands-free, hassle-free. You can go forward and back really effectively. And of course, that's huge for fishermen because you guys are wanting to stay out of you know, obstructions and you want to be able to pull the fish out from underneath trees or wherever you are. Or you just want to be able to maneuver around a dock or whatever it is so that being able to go forward and back really efficiently is, is obviously a big part of fishing. And that's what makes the Propel such a huge part of all the native watercraft boats. The other things I really like about the the 701 is it's got an integrated weed guard that as you go through shallower, more shallower water, you tend to get into grass and that kind of thing. And this helps it from clogging up to the point where the prop doesn't, doesn't move. And what it allows you to do, you can pull it up and clean it off real easily instead of it getting cranked down into the, um, into the actual prop shaft. Um, the other thing we've got is a prop indexer so that when you're coming into shore and you need to pull the drive up, it's real easy to have it lined up so it comes up through the drive scupper. And that's about it. It's, you've got some nice clamps. You can take it out, put it in your car, um, helps you assemble, put the boat back together when you're back at the beach. But that's one of the great features. This, this thing is tried and true and uh, easy to use. And it's, it's a bomber, bomber piece of equipment to propel drive. A big part of designing this boat is that we wanted it to be easy to outfit, super customizable, so that you could arrange it and set it up just the way you wanted. And to kind of go through all those features, I'm going to start here at the bow of the boat. Um, right off the bat, you can see we've got a BMX grip, makes it easy for you to pick up the front of the boat. And the bow of the boat is actually set up with a power pole hole pattern. So anything that's got that classic hole pattern can mount here. So a classic power pole, but then there's several accessories that have that same pattern. We also make a, an accessory mount that you can even put an XI3 up here, trolling motor, so you can really move around and hold your place wherever you're trying to fish. Moving back, we have uh, dual rod tip holders. So you have really nice horizontal rod storage. So specifically, if you're going underneath tree cover and that sort of thing, you can store your rods horizontally and they're protected, especially your tips, the delicate tips. And then the bow hatch is a rotomolded bow hatch. And kind of the important part about that is you want it to be dry, right? And so we've got a couple things going on. We've got this um, seal, a really big seal that conforms to the rim of the hatch itself to help stay dry. But another big part of staying dry is actually having drainage away from the hatch. So there's drainage to the bow that empties the front hatch area, and then there's drainage to the back. So you get the water away from the hatch as quickly as possible. 
On top of the hatch, you've got groove tracks, so you can mount accessories up here. You can stuff a jacket, you can stuff your paddle, a spare paddle or something like that, or a net. So you've got a lot of opportunity here on top of this. Inside the hatch is where a lot of action happens. We are set up with a battery box right over the top of a scupper that actually gives you direct access to your transducer. So your transducer is mounted underneath the boat and its cabling comes up into the battery box, attaches to the battery, any excess battery cabling and all that kind of stuff can be stored in this bin. You can also pull that bin, then that helps you route all your wiring throughout the boat. Um, out of here, then you can actually run wiring to any of your monitors and that sort of thing, chargers, whatever you have set up in the rest of the boat. But this is kind of part of the brain center of the MAX. Moving to the middle of the boat, this is, this is kind of where all the action happens, right? Because you're in a kayak, you can only reach so far. So this whole center section is really important. We'll start real simply down in the floor. Um, the non-slip traction pads are great for allowing you to sort of be stable while you're standing and fishing, sight casting, that kind of thing. But it also quiets the boat. So you're, if, if you stand up, you're not bonking your feet around. It actually deadens sound if you drop something, that kind of thing. That's a really nice feature there. Um, moving to the sides of the boat is when we start getting into really customizing this, this vessel. The electronics plates... There's one on either side. That's really cool because you can actually customize where you want your electronics. You want your monitor on the left, you want it on the right, you got your phone charger, whatever. The cool thing about these electronics plates is it takes away the scary part of drilling a hole in your own kayak. Now you can drill a hole in this electronics plate. If you do make a mistake, you can replace it with another one. But you're not going to do that, right? So you're going to be able to put switches for lights, uh, USB chargers, voltage meters, and then obviously your cabling to monitors and that type of thing. And so the cool, once again, you can do it on either side, customize it just the way you want. The boat also has groove track on either side. So you can, once again, monitor wherever you like, any other types of things, um, different rod holders. People like different types of setups or rod holders where they want to put them. So having this really nice long 29 inch groove track right next to the seat makes that incredibly customizable. Also on either side is a quick access to a Plano box storage. This is a 3600 Plano box that actually is secured in place. And then another great storage option is under the seat. And this storage takes also the Plano boxes, but you can put anything there. Tools, um, bait, uh, plastics, anything that you want to have access to quickly is right there underneath the seat. There's also tool storage on either side of the seat that's molded right into the boat. And then of course we get to the seat. Another very cool feature we make this seat right here in our factory in Fletcher, North Carolina. We, we sew this whole um, padding on top, and then we assemble the entire seat right here in our factory. The other options we've got right here, we, have a, we put in a forward-facing rod holder that actually sends the rod up and forward, which helps you with changing lures, getting a fish off, that sort of thing. It's a little, little bit different than some people do. And then we have the cup holder here. Obviously, everybody needs a cup holder. And... That's a pretty good part of the section in the middle, and we'll move to the back. Moving to the back of the boat, uh, I'll start in the floor again, and you'll notice throughout the boat, it actually has a super seal scupper plugs, and that does a couple things. It allows you actually to drain the boat really easily, but having the scuppers throughout the boat are an incredible part of the rigidity and the stiffness of the design of the boat. It actually creates a pillar, right, a post that helps hold the floor of the boat in, in, a, in a strong way, it makes it stiff and strong. Um, on either side, there's two more 29-inch groove tracks that allows you to outfit it however you like with rod holders or whatever. Um, there's split paddle storage integrated into the hull. So we use a split paddle just because it's a little easier to stow and you don't have to keep that giant long paddle somewhere on the boat. So we take it apart and then drop it into these taco paddle clips so that it can be held in place really easily. There's also uh, another handle, and something that's unique about the design of this boat is there's actually dual handles. If you take the Plano box out, you can use the two handles and two people getting on either side of the boat. It makes it really easy for them to put, pick the boat up and put it into a pickup truck, say, or onto the back of a trailer just by working side to side instead of going front to back. It makes it easy to move it. When you move back from that handle, we'll have our classic rear-facing rod holders, so you can stage two to the back and have one rod facing forward while you're working on it. So just as you get the boat, you actually have um, four, five. You actually have five rods that you could be carrying 
without bringing any other gear because of the two flush mounts, the two horizontal rod stagers, and then the forward facing rod, you actually could have access to five rods without any gear else, in, any more gear in the boat. And something you may notice on this setup of the Sidekick is actually our new no float wheel for 2023. The nice thing about this is that it allows you to, when you roll down into the water and you're trying to take this out, in, the inflated wheels really bind up the system, make it harder to, um, to take it and put it up on the deck. So that having no air in it allows, makes it super easy to take it out and then stow it. But the same thing is true when you're coming in and you're gonna, you wanna take your boat back to the truck is you wanna, you're sitting in water, say knee deep, you can pull the sidekick leg and push it down in the water and then install it and then just roll right out of the water and head for your truck. And then the, the last really exciting thing for 2023 is the spring blade rudder. And there's a few different features that make this really an awesome upgrade in the Max 12 and a half. And that is that the spring blade can operate in a horizontal fashion or a vertical fashion. That allows you in a horizontal fashion to be able to fish shallower water. And then in a vertical fashion, it makes suddenly the handle a lot lighter, easier to turn, super, you know, so in a long day, you don't get a little bit of fatigue from operating the rudder all the time. But the big performance advantage of being vertical is that suddenly the boat tracks straight so much more easily. And kind of that's the goal. We want to be fishing, right? Not managing the rudder. And so when the spring blade is down, it really makes the boat track. This is a huge upgrade for the Maxes in 2023. I think you're going to love it. So now that we've gone through all the key features and all the functionality of the Slayer Max 12 and a half, let's go get it on the water. This morning, it's been pretty rough. We're trying to figure out something, put together some kind of pattern. We're gonna move on down to this point. Uh, I've been able to cover a ton of water with this Slayer Max 12 and a half. And we're gonna come up here and see if we can't make something happen. I've caught one. Let's see if we can do another one. One of the main questions I get about my kayak is if it's stable and how do you stand up in it? And it's just that easy. You just saw me do it. And I've never once had a problem with stability or balance. I've never fallen out. I can cast as long as I want to. I can give a good hard hook set and I will always be just fine. I always feel safe and stable, real secure in this kayak. storage is probably like one of my favorite features ever. It's just so handy and you can like all the baits that you're going to be using a lot of like if I'm throwing a lot of flukes which I, I do you know just your your baits of the day it's good just keeping that under under seat storage. It's really handy. So it has been a slow morning no doubt. Um, I've, I've made a pitch into lay downs hundreds of times today already, but that one time you're not ready is going to be the time that the big one gets away or you miss the bite or, or something like that. So you always have to be on your toes even when you've done it over and over all day. I got a good hook set because I felt safe and secure in my kayak. The kayak also has non-slip pads in the bottom. I mean, there was no slipping around when I decided to set the hook. And when I was fighting that fish, I wasn't even worried about falling. And I got the fish in the boat, all because of the awesome features that this kayak has. Uh, at this part of our day, we're gonna, we're gonna transition and try to run up the river and see if we can't find some fish in some muddier water. We're gonna give it a, a good go at Seeing if we can find some in that muddy water up in that current. It should be, it was really good about two weeks ago. So they should still be up there. We'll, we'll give it a shot. Okay, so the great thing about the pedal drive 
is that it can get you anywhere. But when you're in skinny water, you're not limited. It doesn't mean you can't fish that really skinny water. So you can just, I'm really short, so my seat's all, all the way up. But you can take the hatch, remove it, take your pedal drive straight out, and you can paddle and not have to worry about not being able to fish really, really shallow water and still get to those fish that are laying shallow. Hey guys, that's a wrap for the lake today. It wasn't the best day we've ever had on the lake, but it certainly wasn't the worst. I had a lot of fun. It's always fun to pick apart a new lake and fish with a cool local lake. Jeremy, Jeremy, just thank you for putting me on your juice. Any day that you can put a five pounder in the boat is a great day and I'm just walking away with a great experience and I learned a lot about throwing a jig and catching some largemouth. Sure was a fun day and I appreciate it. We, uh, we went out, we gave it everything we had. We had muddy water conditions. Uh, we'd done the best we could. Definitely got to try out the new uh, Slayer Max 12 and a half and it ran perfectly. Uh, we had a good day with it. Now let's see what you guys can do with it.